Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. Okay, everything is good. Welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. Uh, I have everything we need today to get my amazing pulverizer set up. So uh, let's get started here. So it's hard to remember with it not in my face. So I wrote it down. So we're going to start with the bottom row, which is along the line of the power cable. We're gonna go pulverizer here. We don't need, I need a crescent hammer as well. I forgot about that. Uh, crescent, there it is. And let's grab that. So we need tin. Please tell me I have like one tin left. Nope. Okay. So almost had everything ready today. Ba 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 da. Uh, I can get the iron going though. One, two, three. So I've made ourselves the six pulver. I am one igneous extruder short for the full setup I want, but the setup can function with just two. So as that's how I have it in my other world. So that's how it's going to be. Uh, let's configure this while we're waiting for our tin to melt. We're going to output to the right. Uh, to the left, I mean, we are going to input from the right, and we're going to output to the top. So the tin should be done. Perfect. Bloop. Uh, let's grab you and bloop the other one. And I made another crafting table because it's just more convenient to have more than one. I'm going to put this tin away, and then we will get back on to what we were doing. Okay, tin away. So, I don't need this power cable here, because the igni- Oh, hello. Because the igneous extruder is going to go right there. Boop. Perfect. Uh, I only want you outputting to the side here. Perfect. Uh, and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to knock out these- one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then I'm going to put the sieves here, here, and here. And then I'm going to need item ducts, which I made quite a few over here. And I probably should have put these down first. Oh, well. Oop, I'll have to replace that cobblestone and not fall to my death before then. Oop, oop, oop. And then I'm going to put some servos in there. Oop, oop, oop. I'm going to put them to ignore. 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 Oh, come on. Ignore. There we go. Uh, let's get our cobblestone back into place. Oop, so nobody falls to their death. Uh, and then, what's next? Uh, let's see, igneous, pulverizer, sieve, sieve, chest, sieve, pulverizer. Uh, boop. And then you're going to be configured to... Loop. You're going to output to the right... And you are going to input from the top, like so. And then, what's next? Uh, you're also going to output from the top. That's what I was thinking of. You're not outputting from the top. You are, in fact, Actually, you are outputting from the top. You're outputting this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to have item ducts going across like so. Uh, hmm. Uh, let me get everything else in order first. So up one level is 
item ducks, item ducks all the way across. Okay. All the way to you. Now I believe I don't want you two connecting. And I don't, uh, I don't know quite what yet here. Unfortunately, I did not uh, write down how they were connected to each other, but I should be able to figure it out based on what we're doing. So, uh, also an item duct above the igneous extruder. That's right. Oop. And that I know for sure I don't want connected. And I'm going to need a few more item ducts. So let's get that rolling while we're doing the other stuff. Everything seems so quiet. Are my headphones turned down? No? Maybe I should turn stuff up. Just a smidgen. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. Let's turn that back down because I just realized what the problem is. There we go. Uh, I have a problem with my headphones where the wire needs to be fiddled with in order to get the sound correct. Uh, not like the wire itself, but the where it connects into these external speakers I have plugged in. It's a nightmare, but it works. So it works well enough, I should say. All I have to do is turn it like a dial, so it's not too bad. Uh, all right, so on the next level, the mid-level, or no, we are, we just did the mid-level. The top level is an item duct. Oh, man. And then another item duct. Yep, which I don't have quite yet, so we're just going to ignore it for now. And we're going to put our pulverizer is up next. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to, whoop, there we go, and whoop, there we go, so two pulverizers and then two more item ducks, okay, so you are going to be, you pulverize, you're going to take in cobblestone, so you're going to go in like that, and then you're going to output sand, no, you're going to output gravel into this one. And then you are going to output, uh, no, hold on. You're going to take in gravel, output sand to here. Yeah. And then, yeah, sand goes in and sand goes into this one. So there we go. Uh, that means that this is not connected. Boop. And this is going to output. Yep. And then your. Let's see. Next to the pulverizer are item ducts. So that would mean. This is not connected. Or wait, is it connected? No. No, that's not connected. Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doo. uh, let's see here. A tin should be done. The tin is in fact done. So I wrote down this whole layout, but I forgot to forgot a few details. My mistake. But I should still be able to figure this out. I've done it once before. I can do it again. There we go. Item ducts. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's going to go here. These are not going to connect. And then this is going to go like so. I cannot for the life of me figure out. No, it's not. Hold on a second. Uh, yes, it is. So what's this one for? Oh, I know. I know. Uh, okay, so 
then you're going to output your yellow here. So when it's pulverizing the gravel into sand, it's also going to produce dust. That dust is going to go down into this one. And happy days. Okay. Now, we go to behind middle. So there's nothing behind this pulverizer. Or nothing behind this item duct. Uh, nothing behind this item duct. But behind this item duct is power cables. That go up to and over one. Okay. So the third item duct. So boop. 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 Perfect. And then behind this item duct is do, 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 nothing. Behind this one is a pulverizer. Uh, and I believe, okay, so no, now I remember. This is in fact like so, like so. And this, this pulverizer is going to be facing this way. So there we go. It's going to output yellow towards me, which is uh, this is the igneous extruder. My mistake. Oop. Not what I meant to put. Uh, I need the pulverizer, please. So facing towards here. And you are going to be outputting yellow to this side. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yellow to here. So that's going to be pulverizing uh, gravel into... No, that's going to be pulverizing cobblestone into gravel. Which uh, the yellow is a chance to produce sand. And the sand will go here. And there we go. And then you're going to output that pulverized sand into the back here. Perfect. And then you're going to, I'm going to need to put this like so. And boop. And then that's going to put the gravel into this guy. And the, this guy's going to pulverize the gravel into sand with a byproduct of dust. So dust will come out on this side. Perfect. Right into there. And then here will produce... Okay. And then the sand will be jettisoned out the back. Boop. And hold on a second. No, this guy is placed wrong. Whoops. I need to place you facing backwards. Like so. Okay. So now you output dust through the back. You input through this side. Yep. And then you output through this side. Perfect. Okay, and then this pulverizer inputs there, it turns the sand into dust, there's no byproduct, so it outputs all of its dust into here. Oh, okay, and then last but not least, we have to place our final igneous extruder, and you go up here, you output to the bottom, and that pulverizer inputs from the top. Alrighty. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to want some levers so I can turn this contraption on and off. The levers are going to be placed on the pulverizers. Oh. Uh, there we go. Why not? Uh, for now, I'm going to have these on. So these are not going to produce. 
Uh, and then I need lava and water. I should have made more than one bucket of lava. I just realized this. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now you'll notice uh, at some point I mentioned a chest. Uh, and I haven't put a chest down. The reason being is this produces a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff. So a, norm a normal chest just isn't going to cut it. Hello, rain. A normal chest isn't going to cut it. Now, I'm pretty sure we've already drained this dry, yeah. You're fully powered. You don't have any power. You're gaining power. You're half powered, half powered, fully powered. Okay. So we're going to have to work on better power, too. Or, or more of it, anyway. Uh, but for now, I mentioned a chest. Let's get the chest. So as I mentioned, a normal chest isn't going to be enough. Or Well, I guess I didn't say that specifically. I just said that this produces a lot of stuff. So we're going to need a better, more compact chest. So let's go. My mouse is flickering, but that's only in the game. The recording seems fine. So I just drew attention to it for no reason. So we're going to build compact chests. Now, for this, we need a builder. Now, what do we have to make for a builder? A builder, as it is so aptly named, is going to require two levers, six iron, and a chest. Pretty simple. So let's get this done. And this will get us a quest, too, which is super nice. And I'm almost out of cobblestone. Crafting cobblestone. I have tons of cobblestone. I could use this igneous extruder to finish up our setup, but I kind of like having a source of crafting cobble just ready to go. Okay, for a second there, I thought that had slowed down. I was like, I don't remember there being an update. Uh, I probably should have made the chest first. Whoops. Alright. So we have ourselves a chest. We have ourselves the iron. And we have ourselves the lever. So we have a builder. Let's turn this in. Awesome. Did that unlock any? No, it didn't. Okay. Well, whatever. So we have a compact chest builder. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to want to make a super chest. Like a super, super chest. So I'm going to put rows to the max. I'm going to put columns to the max. And now we need 32 iron bars, 32 iron ingots, 9 chests, and 9 clay. Just to make one super chest. And you know what? I'm going to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 7, in fact. And that is still 7. Okay. So, let's go over to here. We make ourselves the iron bars. Perfect. 32 iron bars, we meet that requirement. Uh, I'm going to need more iron ingots. Uh, 32 is not a multiple of 9. 27 is... I like to do the casting and uh, the smeltering in things of 9, because then I can just pop them out into the block casts instead of uh, individual ingot casts. Okay, so this is done. Uh, but then we also need nine chests. So let's get that rolling. There's two. Oh, bit of a freeze there. And then this should be eight. Uh, let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. There we go. And then that's the nine chests. And then we need nine clay. Uh, let's see here. I've got one clay. So now I just need eight more. Which is perfect because clay is given to you in stacks of four. So we're going to need two of you. It's actually great that it's raining. That means our water barrels are going to be full. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. There we go. Dust. 
And I'm going to let that one refill. I'm just going to go to the other one. And how are we doing for time? We're pretty much at time. I'm going to I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to show you this setup working and then we're going to call it an episode. Uh So we've got ourselves the clay now. Uh clay. Boop, boop. There we go. 8 9 Yeah, it is 9. Okay, perfect. And our smelter should be done. Indeed it is. Let's pour you out. Gather the wheat. So you'll notice I just ate up the last of my apple raisins. Uh, but you'll also notice that I have tons of stuff stockpiled. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. So that'll be 18 iron, and I think with what's already in the chest, we have enough. Yes, we do. So, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, you're going to want to place your builder carefully because it just ejects the chest out of itself. So, boop. So, you definitely do not want to put this thing precariously over an edge. Alright, so we put this chest down. Like so. We take our crescent hammer and we say no. And everything else looks to be in order. So we have tons and tons of inventory space in this thing. Like, look at this. It is 24 by 12. That is just incredible. How many more times can I do this? Actually, this is the last time. Okay. So, uh, is our lava ready yet? Almost. Uh, let's get the water in the igneous extruders. And some water for you. And some water for you. Okay. Awesome. And we have tons of iron. I had to do a bit of resource grinding in order to finish this. Uh, I'm in a severe shortage for copper, so it'll be nice to have this thing up and running, finally. Uh, and then... The lava, is it done yet? So very close. Well, while we're waiting on that, let's get our mossy cobblestone done. Because this is something we've been waiting on for a long time. So here we go. Eight pieces of mossy cobble, along with the one we plucked before. I'm gonna... Whoops. I'm gonna restock this thing. We're gonna need tons of this stuff. So I may as well get it running while we are waiting. And let's get this up and running. So, quests. Uh, tinker... No, wait, what was, what was it under? Mossy repair, there we go. Okay. So we've got one complete. Now we make the ball. And we are complete. Awesome, so now we have balls of moss. We can equip this to stuff to help it repair quickly. Uh, I'm going to put it on... Uh, let's see here. This is, this is the thing I'm looking for. Uh, I guess it has to be full durability for me to upgrade it. Uh, let's go over here, grab a piece of bronze. Uh, so I'm going to put moss on this sword. Boop. And for some reason I can't put moss on the sword. Really? Why? Uh, why can I not put moss on the sword? That's weird. Can I put moss on my mattock? Oh, hold on. I know why. Modifiers remaining? Zero. Okay. That was, uh, that was hindsight. So I'm going to do it on the mattock because we're going to use the mattock a lot. It's going to till soil for us. It's going to do a whole ton of stuff. Uh, this moss we will save for the sword once it has the ability to do so. But by now, our... Our... Wah. 
our lava should be done. So we are... Why is it one short? I don't understand. That is so weird. Oh well, we have enough now. That happens sometimes, I have no idea why. Could be due to the... You're on right now, I don't want you to be on. And you are ignoring my redstone signal. Okay. So that turns you off. Okay. So I'm going to put you to low as well. And actually, let's get you guys running. Uh, yeah, because I could use some resources. And I'm also going to end up sorting how you guys do stuff. So it is finally getting dark. So I'm going to sleep. And ta-da! This thing is running on all cylinders. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn you off. Uh, because we don't have the power to support you right now. You poor thing. Alright, so. Uh, I'm going to end up sorting this once I have something, some of everything. Uh, and you'll see, I'll do that between episodes. Uh, I'm also going to build a whole ton more solar panels before the next episode. And, uh, yeah, we'll look at, uh, upgrading our power system layout. And then we'll probably get some other machines going. Boop, boop. Boop. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, that's it for today. We got ourselves an automated sitting, automated resource collection. Uh, right now it just feeds into a chest, which means it does have a limited amount of stuff it can handle. But, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll do for now. For now, it will do. It will do all of the things. Uh, yeah. So next time is, we're going to be looking into power. Uh, I'm probably just going to make more solar panels. We might look at other forms of power. Uh, maybe not until we unlock the power grid thing. Uh, and we'll probably do some quests next time too. Uh, so I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah. Bye for now.